So, are you interested in seeing the future of Wi-Fi networking? We've got the Xeris Wi-Fi Rays on this episode of Gadget. We'd like to thank our production sponsors, the University Catholic Center, the California Province of the Society of Jesus, and Gateway. And welcome back to Gadget at thetechstop.net. It's a place where it's always time to get your geek on. I'm your host, Father Robert Balliser of the Society of Jesus. I'm a member of the California province of the Jesuits. We're the largest religious order in the Catholic Church, and we're here in the Center for Apostolic Technology in Honolulu, Hawaii. Now let's get right to the tech. When I say Wi-Fi networking, most of us think of stuff like this, you know, antennas and the ubiquitous access points from Linksys or Netgear, Belkin, D-Link, stuff that uh, is just used to connect to the internet. Maybe a card that you plug into your laptop or a dongle you hook up to your desktop. That's okay for the consumer level, but what happens when you get up to five computers trying to connect to an access point or ten? You know, we know that it slows down. It It gets more and more noisy as these radios pump out more and more energy. Now, in the past, the the answer, even at the enterprise level, has been to spread it out, add a couple more APs with these omnidirectional antennas. The problem with that is that you will reach a point eventually where it's just too noisy in the environment. I mean, the bandwidth spectrum is very finite, and if you flood it with energy, no one talks to anybody. So what happens if that's your business plan? I mean, what happens if you depend on that wireless communication? What happens if it's not just an inconvenience for you not to be able to access the internet wirelessly, but if it's a downright business disaster? Well, that's why we have these Wi-Fi arrays from Xeris. Xeris is a California-based manufacturer of unique upper echelon enterprise-class high-performance Wi-Fi arrays that promise to provide switching without wires. Looking like a flying saucer from the 1960s, each of these units is actually a collection of multiple access points in a single easy-to-deploy, simple-to-manage package. The Cirrus line includes the 4 Radio XS4, the 8 Radio XS8, and the Monster 16 Radio XS16. While the units may differ in their radio count, they share the same shape and operating system. The back of the XS4 has 48 and 12 volt ports for power, a Kensington lock port, a console port for serial access, and a single gigabit Ethernet port. The 8 and 16 up the functionality by adding an Ethernet port for out of band management, a second gigabit Ethernet port, and an internal power supply. Though the Xeris arrays can't use standard power over Ethernet, Xeris does offer a variety of mid span power injectors so that the arrays can be mounted in an area and orientation that optimizes Wi Fi coverage even if it isn't close to an electrical outlet. The secret sauce of Xeris's Wi-Fi solution isn't just in the number of radios in each unit, but in how they are utilized. In a traditional enterprise-class Wi-Fi solution, you have a group of APs that are connected to a central controller. You have to wire and mount each access point, and because the RF energy is emitted by each radio's omnidirectional antenna, you end up with APs stepping on one another, filling the air with noise and generally crashing and burning once the Wi-Fi network becomes congested. Xeris has taken a different path by combining the controller and the radios into a single unit. Not only does this decrease your deployment time by reducing the network and power runs that have to be made, but it also allows them to engineer exactly how those radios will interact with one another. Opening the array will reveal a series of radios and antennas that are clustered around a powerful central controller. Part of the Xeris magic comes from the fact that they are currently the only commercially available Wi-Fi system that divides the 360 degrees around the AP into several slices that can each be served by a different set of radios and antennas. What enables this spatial division of Wi-Fi is the fact that the radios and antennas sit within a specially designed RF reflector that works something like the reflector in a flashlight, shaping the Wi-Fi beam into something that can be precisely targeted. This vastly increases the effective bandwidth capacity of a given AP and the effective speed to individual clients because your access points are not interfering with one another. It can also increase range to twice that of a typical access point. This arrangement means that the XS16 can get up to 864 megabits per second of aggregate throughput. The 8 tops out at 432, and the 4 at 216. The controller itself is quite robust with enough power to drive all the radios, the OS, the security software, and the interface with plenty of headroom for future improvements. It sports a 2.1 gigabits per second wireless switch, 512 megabytes to 1 gigabyte of memory, a compact flash card containing the OS, and, on the 8 and 16, 
a PCI X slot for future functionality. Xeris uses a PowerPC CPU that gives the unit the ability to maintain full line rate encryption. The radios and antennas are contained on modules that are connected to the controller via an interface at the edge of each card. This means that they can be removed for easy servicing and upgrade. Simply sliding in a new blade will let you take advantage of 802.11n or any advance in radio or antenna technology. Xeris has also included TNC antenna connectors that allow you to add coverage to wireless trouble spots, areas into which an array just can't penetrate, and in which it isn't economical or desirable to add another Xeris array. You have several ways to access the array. You can use the console port for serial access, the dedicated out-of-band Ethernet management port on the 8 and 16, or you can log in via an encrypted web interface. It also supports SNMP management, SSH, and Telnet. For large enterprise-class deployments, Xeris offers a custom MIB file to interface many arrays with their network management software. Though the sheer number of services and configurations available through the menus might be daunting at first, it's necessary to give users what they need from an enterprise-class wireless solution. You have at-a-glance access to pretty much every important metric from array status to network settings, connected clients, and your VLAN configurations. Security-wise, Xeris arrays have pretty much every security feature that you might want to implement on your network. They support WEP, WPA, WPA2. You can use open pre-share key 802.1x, EEP, PEEP, and captive portal authentication. It includes an integrated stateful packet inspecting firewall. However, the most impressive security feature has to be the integrated intrusion prevention and detection system. All of Xeris's products include a dedicated Wi-Fi threat sensor and spectrum analyzer with a 2 decibel omnidirectional antenna. This hardware gives you the ability to detect and block rogue access points, locate wireless bottlenecks, map your Wi-Fi environment, look for interference, and otherwise troubleshoot your wireless network without needing to buy an additional and quite expensive Wi-Fi diagnostic tool like air magnet sensors. The Xeris arrays can break down each of the available channels by noise, congestion, error rate, and a handful of other important factors. This will allow you to decide how to best configure your array so that it can perform as well as possible. Xeris has also included the ability to create up to 16 unique SSIDs for each array. This is tied together with the option of managing the availability of each SSID, bandwidth caps, and security policy, meaning that not only can you have the array automatically allow and disallow access for certain groups or users, depending on the time and day of the week, but you can also throttle them to an acceptable level of traffic. Now, I think the best thing that I can say about these Xeris arrays is that I have real-world usage. In fact, several instances of real-world usage of these arrays, and they just performed fantastically. The first one was at the New York Interop Conference a few years back. I was helping to build out one of the largest temporary networks in the world, and we had this relative newcomer come in and, and say, well, can you use our wireless products? Now, our experience of wireless at these conferences, where you have thousands and thousands of attendees, is that it might work for a while, but eventually it just tips over. I mean, there was just too much interference. Even the most advanced wireless networking products from the most advanced companies, and I won't name them, but you can probably figure them out, just wouldn't really work past opening. So we set up Xeris, and we had, what, four APs in a hall where we had normally de deployed 50 to 60, and it worked. I mean, it worked the first time. It worked the entire conference. And it was only because it had that efficient design that it was able to, to keep users connected and keep our management headaches down to a minimum. Now let's get to it. Price. Xeris is charging about $1,000 a radio. It drops to $750 per radio with the 8 or 16 radio versions, but that's still a lot of money. However, we have to remember that these are targeted for the enterprise class network. And for the enterprise class, this is relatively inexpensive, especially when you consider what you get. You know, the thing I like the most about these Xeris arrays is that not only do they help you create an incredibly stable wireless network, but they expand what you think you can do with a wireless network. For example, the SpectraLink protocols that are built into these arrays means that they are perfect. They are absolutely perfect for wireless voice over IP handsets. You could take one of these things, put it on one of those expandable van poles, move it into the middle of a field, raise it up, and suddenly you've got thousands and thousands of yards of not just network connecting laptops and, and phones, but just a, a real workspace. It's great for first responders, or for those who just need a really simple wireless network that can be moved from place to place. In fact, uh, I was talking to one of the Xeris guys, and, and he was mentioning how they have these laptop carts, those old-style laptop carts that move from classroom to classroom, and they can put on one of these four radio units, just put it on the cart, and you have instant connectivity everywhere you go, and it works every single time. I mean, it just changes the face of the game. 
if you're looking for the solution for your enterprise class network, if you want to see the future of Wi-Fi networking, or maybe if you're just a geek and you want to find out more about the technology behind these Xerus arrays, why don't you go to their website at www.xerus.com and read one of their white papers or any of their technology demonstrators. If you want to find out more about how we experience these Xerus arrays, you can always go to our website at www.thetechstop.net. If you click on the Gadget tab, you can find all of our episodes in high resolution. If you want to write us, you can reach us at gadget at thetechstop.net. Well, I've been your host, Father Robert Balliser. This has been the Center for Apostolic Technology. And remember, there's no Uber Geek without you. <laughs>